Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to see how to update a Google spreadsheet with a new record on a survey submit in Go High Level. So we're going to do that through Zapier. And if I show you my survey, so what I'm trying to do is I have a web design survey on my high level account. It's asking a few questions along with the name, uh, email and phone number of the contact. So the questions are what type of business do you have? Do you already have a website? How many pages do you think your website will have? Will you be providing content? What's your desired timeline for the project? And then name, email, phone number. So I have a spreadsheet on my Google account. I've created that. So I'm asking for name, email, phone number, has a website, how many pages desired, timeline, type of business, who provides content. Pretty similar to my survey. For each question in the survey, I have a separate column. So I want a record to be populated whenever the survey is submitted, right? So that's my survey. That's my Google spreadsheet. Now let's go to my Zapier account. So that's the Zapier account I'm going to work with. I have signed up for the paid plan. And uh, again, if you want to uh, use Zapier with high level, you might must have the paid plan because otherwise you won't be able to use webhooks which is really essential to uh, set up integrations with high level to with another platform right okay so i have a created a new folder here so i can keep my workflows or my zaps separate so in zapier if, if you create a workflow or an automation it, it's called a zap i think most of you know it already but for those of you who don't know so i'm going to create a new zap from this folder and just like if you have used go high level automations a zap has two sections the first one is a trigger the second one is an action trigger is what initiates this zap or this automation and action is what gets performed in this automation right so i'm gonna rename this say update google sheet so that's my first uh, automation i'm gonna work with now in zapier there's no trigger for survey submit because it, it if you click on the trigger uh, it gives you a lot of platforms it gives you lead connector as well but if you select lead connector it doesn't have any event or any trigger for survey submit so what happens when the survey is submitted they don't have anything for that so i'm gonna not select lead connector instead i'm gonna do webhook right so webhook is what i'm gonna use as a trigger so whenever the survey is submitted in high level what I will do is through an automation, through a workflow in high level, I will execute a webhook that will be caught by my zap. And then I can perform whatever I want because I'll have those data I need from that survey in the webhook. So let's get to create a workflow in high level. So I'm in my workflows in, uh, in high level and I have created a folder, as you can see, GHL Zapier automation. So I'm going to create a workflow from scratch and I'm going to call it update Google spreadsheet survey submit. Right. Okay. So here I'm going to select the trigger survey submitted and I'm going to select the survey I need, which is a web design survey. That's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm, I'm going to ignore all the other actions I want to perform. I'm just going to stick with webhook. So in actions, I'm going to select webhook and here the method will be obviously post because I'm trying to post it. So you either get or post po uh, get is read and post is write. So um, here I'm going to select the webhook. And then here in the trigger event, I'm going to say catch hook. So the, the hook I'm, I post from high level will be caught by this zap. That's why I'm selecting catch hook and uh, don't need to select anything here. And here it gives me the webhook endpoint or the webhook URL. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to put it in the URL section of uh, my high level automation, right? And I'm going to publish this. That's all I need to do in high level. So, um, now what I'm going to do is I need to go back to my survey and I'm going to go to the web design survey. I'm going to preview this and I need to make a test submission. So what will happen is when I make this test submission, the high level automation I created will send the data of the form or the survey submission. And this works for form submissions, by the way, if you are doing it for survey, you're, you can obviously do it for forms as well. Right? So whenever I submit the survey, the survey data will be sent to Zapier through this webhook URL through that automation I just created, right? Okay, so let's just uh, select something. And I'm going to select here something. Uh, just do some test data. And this info that I submitted should be sent to my Zap. So I'm going to test this trigger. Sometimes it takes a while, but sometimes it catches it instantaneously. All right, so that's what I submitted. And as you can see, um, it sent me a bunch of more data along with my along with what I submitted uh, in the survey. So I don't need everything. 
So when I'm done pulling this record in Zapier, I need to continue and then I'm going to select Google Sheets from here because that's the action I want to perform. <clears throat> and and here I need to uh, I need to choose the action I want to perform. So the uh, the one will be uh, create spreadsheet row. That's the action I'm going to perform because I want a new row whenever a form is submitted or a survey is submitted uh, in high level. Okay. And uh, Google Spreadsheets, that's my uh, that's my Google account. So you can obviously connect a new account or if you have already something connected, you can go with that one. So I'm going to go with the one I create, I connected. So the next step is select which Google Drive. I'm going to select my drive and then I'm going to select the row as well. And I'm going to select this, uh, the uh, the sheet because you may have multiple sheets in, in your spreadsheet. So, so once I'm done doing that, I'm going to now start by putting the data, right? So that's the first name that's the last name and i need to search for the email address that i submitted that's the email address these are basically columns of the google spreadsheet so <clears throat> this is what zapier pulled from the spreadsheet that i just connected these are multiple columns this the first one is name email um, and then the third one phone number type of business has a website basically these columns right okay and then I'm going to just keep mapping the fields because that's why I submitted the survey. So Zapier knows what to uh, what data to exactly map with the platform I'm trying to connect, right? Uh, the phone number is this type of business. You can obviously, if you have multiple, a um, lot of data, you can just search for that has a website. You can just search for a website. Do you already have a website? So these are high level fields. These are what high level sent to Zapier uh, through the webhook. How many pages? search for pages that's just uh just saves me time so as you can see these are the data that i received as you can uh, this shows me the example data also that i submitted so timeline who provides content so i'm going to search for content and that's pretty much it so i'm going to continue and then i'm going to test this step once I test this, I'm going to see a new row created inside my uh, Google spreadsheet. Uh, there you go. So that's the data Zapier sent to uh, the Google spreadsheet. From now on, if I publish this, whenever the survey is submitted through the Go High Level workflow, through the Zap, my spreadsheet will be updated with a new row each time the survey is submitted. So that's how you connect high level with uh, your Google spreadsheet and update Google spreadsheet using Zapier, using webhooks. So hopefully you understood the video and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.